era the civil war has ceased, yet the war on citizens continues. The war on Tamils continues. The war on freedom of speech, freedom of press, and freedom from torture all continue. Harassment, abduction, and murder represents real government action. It's been almost three years since the government declared peace, yet peace still remains a forgotten dream in the island. In the last six months, there have been 96 cases of torture, and among those are ongoing extrajudicial killings, sexual violence, and enforced disappearances. These are not facts laid out by the community. They are facts laid out by credible international human rights organizations. Our government has already taken important steps. Among them are Prime Minister Right Honorable Stephen Harper and the Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird's position on the Commonwealth talks and the deployment of parliamentarians to assess the ground reality in Sri Lanka. In addition to the work done by the Department of Foreign Affairs at the UN Human Rights Council. It's been three years since the end of the war as Vani mentioned, and we are we're continuing to see evidence pour in of the, co of the continuation of the war in Sri Lanka. This documentary that's being screened tonight is a prime example of that. To confirm footage, previous footage, and accounts by witnesses, we see systemic abuse of civilians trapped in the conflict zone. The government of Sri Lanka needs to be held accountable for the crimes committed and ensure that its recommendations of its own Lessons Learned in Reconciliation Commission, the LLRC, to demilitarize and to initiate independent actions to ensure justice, equity, accountability, and reconciliation are implemented. We need to give voice to the voiceless to ensure that we are in support of the Canadian values of democracy and human rights are respected, irrespective, irrespective of ethnicity. My name is John McCall, a member of Parliament. Uh, from our Unionville for the Liberal Party and I would just like on behalf of uh, the Liberal Party and our leader Bob Ray to express f our total support for the screening that we're going to see this evening and more important to express our total support for an independent UN-led inquiry into war crimes. It's a human rights issue for me. This is not about Tamil versus Sri Lanka and all that. This is about human rights and um, atrocities that are going in the country while we stay silent. Thank you to the uh, CTC Green Tamil Congress for having invited us to, uh, to view this. It's a matter of uh, human rights, frankly, and, and basic decency to, uh, to inform ourselves about the facts of what went on in Sri Lanka up to the end of the Civil War. Even now, uh, some of you will have seen the um, letter from the High Commissioner encouraging MPs not to attend that. I think most of you can read between the lines because there really wasn't a between the lines in this. It was right on the surface. Uh, this kind of denialist and over-the-top rhetoric is typical of uh, the way the Sri Lankan government has been responding to uh, criticism. And the fact that it's so uh, strongly worded is a sign that many groups, from Amnesty International to uh, diasporic groups like the Canadian Tamil Congress, have been making inroads and in getting people to understand really what has happened. And uh, we have to move on. At some point, justice will be done. And um, it's this ki these kinds of films that will help us understand more. It's a pleasure to uh, co-host this to with uh, Rathika and uh, Judy. Uh, we had a chance to uh, uh, play this, uh, I guess, a few months ago as well uh, in this very same building for uh, uh, parliamentarians. But the Channel 4 documentary, I think, is a wonderful uh, exposition of, uh, of what happened. Uh, and when it comes to uh, the atrocity that occurred in Sri Lanka, there is no partisan politics. Uh, I think we all agree uh, that Canada uh, can be a leader, do everything we can to make sure uh, that justice is finally found and that uh, uh, horrible uh, incidents like this uh, don't repeat itself in the future. And as uh, Judy put it, uh, as others said, as Patrick said, this is a human rights issue. In Sri Lanka, uh, Tamil community human rights have been violated, still being violated for <coughs> years and years and years. All we are asking our elected officials to step in and stop that once and for all. And thank you for Last year, Channel 4 made a film which contained some of the most shocking images we have ever broadcast. They were filmed in 2009, in the final stages of the civil war between the government of Sri Lanka and the rebel forces of the Tamil Tigers, or LTTE. During that period, according to United Nations sources, government forces killed up to 40,000 civilians. Others...